Hello friends, Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com and today we are talking about the auto filter. Um, it is an essential plugin if you are a keyboard player, um, which I am and that is why we are delving into all of these things. Um, so I have a little uh, pad loop that I recorded. This is a sound that I made in Massive um, and there's nothing on it. So I'm going to play it right now so you can hear what's going on. Sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and drag an auto filter on to uh, this channel strip here. Now there are a ton of settings here. Uh, I'm going to start over here. Well, no, I'm going to start over here. So there are tons of different uh, filters over here. Um, you've got your low pass, your high pass, your band pass, and your notch. Um, and then there's this guy over here, which is morph. And as you move this, um, it sort of changes between all of the filters. So it's interesting, interesting thing that's happening there. All right, but we're going to leave it at low pass right now because if I'm honest, this is really the one that I use the most when I'm playing. Um, this guy here is going to adjust your frequency of uh, where your cutoff is happening, and this is your resonance, which will give you a little bit of a boost at the cutoff. Um, this 12 and 24, this affects how sharply um, your cutoff is. Most of the time I leave this set to 24. Um, now these guys over here are different types of filters. Um, as you'll notice, they have drive. Um, I use clean quite a bit, but I also like the PRD. Uh, the drive is very nice, but for now I'm going to leave it on clean. Um, it's just what I like. There's no real incorrect answer. Um, so I'm going to play this clip and I am going to slowly open up my low pass filter. So here it goes. So you'll notice that as I open this filter, you get a lot more of the top end, and that's because this filter, just the way it looks, is cutting out all of the higher frequencies and letting the lower ones pass through. Um, your resonance, I'm going to try and do this without hurting our ears. Let's do a quick demo of what this would sound like. Um, resonance really boosts where you're cutting it off, which I talked about a little bit, but this is extreme enough that you'll hear it. So you can kind of hear what that does. Um, I like to have mine in the 50s. It's a good amount. All right. Uh, let's talk about envelope. Um, envelope follows the shape of your waveform. Um, I find that leaving this on a little bit uh, is a nice thing to do, even if you're controlling your frequency live, because it sort of adds a little bit of nice variation. So especially if you have a really deep synth sound that's got a lot of variation in it, um, and you're using a filter, this will provide some... Uh, natural depth without you doing much work. Um, so I'm going to turn this on for now, uh, all the way up to 127. I'm going to turn the attack, uh, give it a little bit of time, um, and I'm going to do this and this so you can hear what happens. I'm going to isolate that original attack again so you can kind of hear the filter opening. All right, now we're going to do the total opposite. Kind of hear that it's closing there. I'm going to isolate that again so you can hear it a little better. But you hear as it's changing, the filter is kind of moving a little bit, which we like. Um, we like that. Um, these attack and release knobs affect um, how quickly the filter opens and closes, um, and this is good to play with. Um, right now I'm using an audio clip, and so there's not, not much uh, to see here, but um, longer attack is going to gradually open the filter. Short, it'll open immediately, and so on and so forth. Um, I like to have a little bit on here, so we'll leave a little on. All right, let's talk about the LFO section. Um, so you have several different ways that you can 
um, modulate your frequency. Um, the sine wave is nice. Also, the square wave is interesting. Um, you can play with them. Um, so this is your amount of modulation, and this is your rate. Um, so lower rates and higher rates. So let's, before we go syncing, uh, let's, let's listen. So you can kind of hear that. Uh, and here's an example of the square wave. Square wave is a cool effect. I really like that. All right. Um, you can also sync it so that it will line up with your metronome. Uh, often I am using a metronome when I play live. So this is very helpful for me. Uh, you may also notice that there is a phase and offset thing here. So uh, actually this uh, auto filter is putting out a stereo signal. So this, these two buttons down here are going to give you the ability to manipulate um, those signals separately. So at 180 degrees, they are exactly opposite. Um, but I'm going to move it slowly so you can kind of hear what's happening. <laughs> So you can hear that as I get closer to 180, it's uh, it's doing its thing there, kind of going from side to side. Uh, okay, um, last feature is the quantize feature. This blows my mind. I love how cool this is. So this kind of gives you like uh, it anything that is moving this filter is going to do it by one kilohertz at a time, right? So this actually makes it so that this is jumping. So at whatever speed you're moving, it is only showing you where it is every 16th note, 2 16th, 3 16th, 4 16th. Um, and it makes this really super awesome rhythmic effect that I love. So I'm going to demo that for you right now. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of some of this first. Okay, uh, here it goes. Okay, and uh, set this maybe to three. Give it a listen there. All right, that's a cool effect. This is brilliant. Um, and that's one of the reasons that auto filter is slightly different than just using a standard EQ is it has a little bit more functionality. So you can really be creative um, with this. E we could even go in here um, we could draw, like in our auto filter, our frequency, um, just to give you a bit of a more automated idea of what's happening here. Um, all right, here is. So we took a synth that had absolutely no rhythm to it, and using the auto filter created something that's rhythmic, that's interesting to listen to, um, and this is literally just scratching the surface. So play with this, um, because this is going to totally bring your sound up to a place where people are like, oh, how did you do that? Auto filter. Uh, it's simple, it's straightforward, and makes things sound good. So continue to use it. If you would like, you can check out my keyboard uh, essential sound uh, packs on my website. And they are basically uh, audio effects that you can use to uh, make your keyboard sounds sound awesome. Uh, there's a link to that in the details below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patchless Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, 
be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.